Hey everyone, uh, obviously we're talking about NVIDIA here, which on my channel might seem a little strange. I don't talk about PC stuff that much, even though I actually PC game quite a bit. Uh, I also don't talk about uh, the individual companies behind uh, things that often. Obviously, we know like AMD is the company behind like you know the chips inside the Xbox Series X and PlayStation Five. Uh, but in, you know, NVIDIA is partnered with Nintendo for the Tegra chip and all the chips that are going behind Nintendo Switch. So that's usually the extent at which we talk about the companies. We'll talk about the technology like DLSS 2.0, stuff like that, in regards to how it affects consoles. But today we're talking about PC uh, because NVIDIA is doing something extremely crappy. Now, uh, you might think that me talking about this makes me uh, a, a, an AMD shill, a red shell. After all, you know, I am running like a, a, a Ryzen 2700X right now and an AMD 5700 uh, XT. But like literally right before the 5700 XT, I was using this NVIDIA Quadro card, uh, and before that, I was using a GTX 1070 in my editing rig, uh, and obviously, I would love to have a 3090 right now, which is like the top dog of top dog cards uh, with so much VRAM, I could probably edit in 8K, 16K, 12K, whatever, no problem if I was rocking uh, cards like that, but I'm not, uh, and the performance metrics between the 3000 series from NVIDIA and the 6000 series from AMD are very competitive, and it's great that we have options in the market. But NVIDIA is doing something that just is the most anti-consumer, uh, the most anti-reviewer uh, thing I've ever seen. NVIDIA is acting as if they are the sole detractors that can tell you what the value of their GPUs is. Essentially, what has happened is they have gone to an extremely popular YouTube channel, a tech review channel, and told them that they are no longer going to receive Founder Edition cards, which for those who don't know, Founder Edition cards are kind of like this. This is like a Founder's Edition Quadro card. Uh, it's a card that's only made by NVIDIA, not made by like you know other partners, you know, MSI or... Uh, I don't know. There, there's a whole bunch of add-in board partners out there, you know, Asus and, and stuff like that. So, like, instead of being made by a partner, it's made directly by NVIDIA. You're able to uh, review Founders Edition cards day one of launch. Usually, uh, right, right now, NVIDIA's got, like, a two-day delay on uh, doing any founder, uh, any non-Founders Edition card reviews. So, you get Founders Edition card reviews of brand new products day one. Uh, and then obviously you get the drivers and all that jazz pre-release as well. So you could properly do your review. Granted, those drivers aren't always the greatest, but it is what it is. So they have decided to tell an outlet how to review a card, what they're supposed to be reviewing and talking about, and what gamers care about. Yeah, that's how cocky NVIDIA is being. They are literally trying to draconian this stuff. And it has now been confirmed as the email has has been shared with Linus Tech Tips, who went out and talked about it on the recent podcast. But we're not going to get too much into that. I'll link to the, the their podcast, The WAN Show, if you want to check out their... They, they go on like a 40-minute tangent about this. And they're a company that has traditionally had a very good relationship with NVIDIA. But let's get into the original source of this issue. So here we see Hardware Unboxed. And uh, it'll say NVIDIA has officially decided to ban us from receiving GeForce Founders Edition GPU review samples. Again, this makes it so any review of their GPUs you have comes from the secondhand card market from add-in board partners and comes out days later, which affects viewership uh, and basically blackballs them for NVIDIA products. Uh, the reason is that we are focusing on rasterizing instead of ray tracing. They have said they will revisit this should your editorial direction change. Think about that. Just stopping there. They will change their ruling if their editorial direction changes. What NVIDIA is saying is we will give you a product for review if, if you basically review the product the way we tell you to. They want to control the narrative of a review. You cannot do that. Now, the interesting part is the reason they're going after them, obviously, is because they do, in, in their actual review, they talk more about rasterization than ray tracing. They don't talk about ray tracing that much, although they say in the review of like the GTX 3080 or whatever that, hey, we will do a separate dedicated video on ray tracing and DLSS 2.0, which they did. And they actually said it, you know, this time around, it's pretty good. What NVIDIA is trying to do is control the review. They are trying to tell them what they could say. The reason they focus on 
quote unquote rasterization. Basically, the reason they don't talk much about things like ray tracing is because one, there's very few games that actually support ray tracing. It's like three titles, and of the titles that do, it's not always the most impressive. I mean, even Cyberpunk 2077, the lighting is so good without ray tracing that a lot of people might not even notice the differences when ray tracing is turned on. Now, DLSS 2.0 is completely different, and honestly, if you think that this is just a, a you know, they're doing this because they they this company you know this YouTuber extremely favors Team Red. Well, in their like 6900 XT or 6800 review, they actually compare the numbers of uh, of of AMD GPUs directly to NVIDIA GPUs with DLSS 2.0 turned on, which is an unfair comparison to uh, the the Team Red because it's going to make NVIDIA GPUs look like they slaughter AMD. But it's also realistic because most games you can use DLSS 2.0 on. So when it comes to pure gaming performance, that is a massive advantage NVIDIA has. So basically, they make the NVIDIA cards look vastly superior. There's really not a logical reason for NVIDIA to block this beyond the fact that naturally, most views of your product, you know, talking about a product, are going to happen on the review. And Harbor Unbox knows that most views are going to happen on the review, but they thought... What happened with ray tracing and DLSS 2.0 this time was such a big deal, it needed its own video. So they didn't include anything about that in the review. This seems to have really, really pissed off NVIDIA. But it goes beyond them just saying, hey, um, you're not reviewing the product the way we want you to. So, yeah, if your editorial direction changes, you know, maybe we'll give you products again. But it goes beyond that. Scroll down further here. Uh, and let me see here. They said something, uh, interesting. Um, oh gosh. Uh, this is a quote from the email they sent today. It's very clear from your community commentary that you do not see things the same way that we gamers and the rest of the industry does. Do you understand how presumptuous that is to say we, gamers, and the rest of the industry do. I'm sorry, NVIDIA. NVIDIA? Hold on, I gotta look at the camera for this one. NVIDIA, you do not speak for consumers. I don't care that you've been the best gaming GPU or best workstation GPU for ages. You do not speak for consumers. You don't even speak for your quote-unquote partners. You don't speak for other media outlets. Because other media outlets have said ray tracing is great, but also, like, there's hardly any games that use it. Heck, most YouTubers that are covering this note that, you know what, yeah, it's cool. But, like, most of you guys aren't going to see an advantage of it, so it's not that big a deal right now. Until every company is using ray tracing, which is a newer technology, it's not, uh, no, hardware-based ray tracing is anyways, they're, they're not going to care. Here's the simple fact of the matter. NVIDIA, I am a PC gamer, first and foremost. You do not speak for me. You cannot tell me what I care about from my GPUs. I don't care what marketing fluff you want to push with ray tracing. Guess what? Most of the games I play on PC aren't going to support ray tracing anyways. So what do I care more about? Rasterization and raw performance of the card. And yeah, DLSS 2.0 is a nice thing to think about as well. That's what I care about. Ray tracing to me, neat. Doesn't matter till enough games that I play support it. And considering that some of the games I play are a bit older, they're not going to support it. Maybe new games in the future will. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 supports it. That's great. But you know what? To really enjoy it, I'm going to end up needing to have a 3080 or a 3090 and spending a thousand plus dollars, most likely at the end of the day, to be able to even partially enjoy ray tracing and i probably won't even notice that big of a difference based on other videos i've seen so i honestly think that this is just extremely callous of you nvidia extremely cocky of you how dare you try to control reviews of your products in this way now look if there's other reasons you don't want to give them a gpu okay like we as like 
YouTubers are not entitled to products. So if they just said, look, we're just not going to send you a Founders Edition card anymore, and they didn't even give you a reason, okay. Or look, we changed our policy. You need to have 500,000 subscribers or a million subscribers to get Founders Edition cards because we have limited availability. Okay. Like, it sucks, you know, especially if you've already been getting those products. But to say you're not getting a product because we basically don't like your review, you're not touting the features we want you to tout, and let us know if your editorial content ever changes. Oh, and by the way, the reason you should tout these features is because everyone agrees with us. We speak for gamers. If you spoke for us consumers, we wouldn't need reviewers in the first place. Reality is, NVIDIA, you don't speak for, for the partners, quote-unquote partners as you call them, the media members, and you don't speak for gamers and consumers. You are a product manufacturer and, and creator. You create some amazing products. Let your products speak for themselves. The products should perform so well in rasterization that you should be proud of the metrics shown. You should be proud that the majority of gamers that are going to only see this benefit from your cards, you should be proud of that performance. Oh, so that performance, you know why they're not proud of it? Because that performance doesn't necessarily line up as well with the 6,000 series of GPUs. They are so worried about AMD, they're punishing reviewers for it. It's bullshit. NVIDIA, get your shit together. This is not okay. So I'm Nathaniel Rubble Jance from Nintendo Prime. You knew it was going to be something something crazy for me to start crossing into talking about PC hardware on my channel because we generally just focus on Nintendo and then other game consoles. But, dude, I'm a gamer on all platforms, and this shit pisses me off as a content creator and reviewer, and obviously, first and foremost, as a gamer. How dare you, NVIDIA, say you speak for me? How dare you tell a review outlet how to review your product because they should care about things that most of us consumers aren't even going to get to use? I'm done. Catch you guys in the next video.